correct guys before watching this video i'm just here to let you know there's a lot of images that are shown here that are really sensitive just to let you guys know for the people that might be worried enjoy so guys now you can see these are live chicken and we'd like to sit to show you how we do the slaughtering of the chicken and then after this we are going to show you how we do how we slaughter goats or sheep so this here chicken here this is where we put them so that they can be ready to be put on hot water so i don't know what we call this these aluminium tins here but this is how we do it this is how they do it here and after after now they put it there on that thing now this uh on this this machine here this is where we do the we remove the feathers I'll, i'm going to show you and then this is where we put them after the feathers are removed um so all these chicken are mine <laughs> Yeah, we are going to to enjoy. So let's see what they do to this jogo here. This is already ready to be put on hot water. It is not alive, as you can see. It is not alive. And let's see. Let's see what happens once they are put on this hot water. So you can see, guys, the water is ready. And touch. Here we go. The water is really hot, very hot. The way you do at home. Uh, so now we're preparing it for the feather removal. And this is how we do it. This is a very big rooster, Jogo, right? So now we take it to the machine here so the they can it can remove the feathers so you can see this is a very good machine and now the feathers are being removed Ta -da! very clean very easy very easy wow 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 our jogo is ready feathers removed and it is still being cleaned let's see what happens after this so there you go very ready feathers removed and now it is ready to be to be cooked now this is the machine that removes the feathers so all this chicken will pass through here <laughs> oh sorry chicken poor chicken sorry then okay now So this is where they burn. If you want them to burn, to burn it, they do it from that section. So now this is where they remove the inner part of chicken. It is removed and now it is ready to be cut and the customer take them. So those ones are not mine those are someone's else so someone's else so so these are already burnt if you need them to burn it for you they can do it for the feathers to be to be removed completely those people who don't like to see any feather on the chicken and they can do it for you they can do it for you so this is already packed uh already packed meat for customers we put them in these plastic bags and <clears throat> for for easy transportation actually for easy uh transportation so now my order is next is the next one online and i can't wait 
I just can't wait. So here is my order. Now we are ready to get our sheep. This is not sheep actually. This is goat. Uh, now our goat is being is being sh uh, is it shedding or what? What can we call it? <laughs> so this is what we we came from. So this is a big goat. Actually we do goat. We don't do sheep. And the goat is so yummy 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 i just can't yeah. wait to go home <laughs> hmm? so here we go those are those are ribs for nyamachoma yay so th this cutter here the person who is cutting should be very very careful because this is a saw and it is very sharp as you can see if you mess you might leave your hand there as well but these people are very experienced they know how to do it and they do it so well as you can see wonderful you see kai way this ones look so dangerous right Way. but they are so experienced hmm? so my goat is so big huh? the leaves for nyamachoma watch it too oh i can't wait guys last time i promised you for nyamachoma but we, we the, the goat got finished before we did a video but i promise you this time round we're going to do a barbecue those nyamachoma those ribs watch watch us so our goat is this big you can see you can tell this is a big one mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. so this is a big goat you see nyama so much so so much flesh huh wait 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 Actually, I'm not a meat. I'm not a fan of meat. But once I see these imaginations, right? Huh? Kaugali, rice, chapo stew, anything goes well with nyama, right? Beef stew. <laughs> but I promise you guys, we are going to do barbecue and we do a video and we celebrate together with you people. We can't take you to the kichinjio and then you just kula kwa macho, no. We have to do it and we eat. We celebrate, right? So we need them to cut it for us to make it to, to make the work easier for us. So once we go home, we just pack them in in ziplocs and it will be easier for us to to do the cutting. Now to small pieces and then we do the cooking. They do it so well. So, so well. As you can see, these people are experienced. This is the same place we came last time, if, as you can remember. The same place. Same place. It is the best in this North Texas. <laughs> It is the best. The yummy it is the yogurt is very yummy. The the services here are very very awesome and amazing, and we love them. We love them. They are the best. They are the best. So today is a Sunday. Today is a Sunday, and we decided. Oh, it's been a while since we. We go to, actually, it, this place is far from our place. It's more than an hour. But we had to come here, Mashambani, to get the goat. Because the ones that we buy from the stores, eh, 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 a small chunk of meat goes for $13, $15. And my family, my family is so big, uh, $15 is a lot of money for a very small chunk. So we prefer getting a, a, a goat like this one and we be good. We be good. So, 
now we want to continue with the cutting now we do the next one and then we finish with the chicken and we'll be good so those are my goats mm -hmm. my goat is there you can see we are so many people here you can see the shoes can't tell you <laughs> So those are my matumbo. Yay! Hello! Matumbo, matumbo, guys. Now we want a chicken. Let's go and see if the chicken are ready. So my chicken. My chicken, my chicken, my chicken. Okay. <clears throat> I see the make chicken. These are Kenyaji chicken. These are Kenyaji chicken. Okay. Yes. Kenyaji. What do we call it in English? Don't know. But they are Kenyaji. These are not Vloiras. They are Kenyaji. So now you'll be set. Can see when they do the cutting, uh, it's very easy. The wings, actually, they do it, they do it the way we want them to do it. Okay, the wings, the thighs, and the chest. The wings, the thighs, and the chest. And then we have the, the, the gizzard. Uh, the gizzard are already in the cooler. Okay, so we have everything. We have everything. So the loose side, the canary, the Here we go. So last time we about the chicken. But today, actually, we we have another a new vid, uh, a new a new part that we did show you last time and that's why we decided to do it again so that we can show you the chicken slaughtering and cutting and and how we do the feathering <laughs> how we remove the feathers so this one looks big right this is a big one now, Chagu and Ilak, what is your choice to know? Today you doing chicken? Are you doing? Are you doing boozy? Chagu and Ilak. You see the chicken, the thighs, the chest. Are you guys counting this chicken? Can you tell me how many are there? <laughs> how many are these chicken? There are so many, right? Yeah, because we have to buy more because we don't want to to be coming here every now and then. So we have to to get stocked. Mm -hmm. So this is Kichwa, Boozy, Boozy Head. And it is a, sorry, Bori, sorry. Sometimes I feel, uh, <laughs> I, I, I pity these animals sometimes. Hmm? But we have to do this. We have to. Okay, so uh, actually we are now almost, we are now almost done. So now we can embark to our, uh, with our journey home. Uh, we have been here for the last like two hours because we have to, to go to the shed there to select the juice of our choice. And then we had to catch up with friends here who came. And um, oh my goodness. Okay. okay guys, I remember I gave you a display. Me too, I'm not watching this. <laughs> yeah. 
but this is how it is done okay so once you come to america you're not going to miss your kenyan or your african food we have it here we have a uh, organic meat uh we have um organic organic chicken uh not gmo we have organic eggs so you're not going to miss you're not going to miss everything actually you are going to get like everything you have back home although you will see it is night it is like it is not hundred percent but it is amazing 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 uh, we thank you so so much for so guys you. now we are set oh my god so guys now we are set with our nyama with our boozy and our 10 chicken so now for the next one month we are set one or two months to go join them. so thank you so much guys for watching this video see you in our next one bye 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 let's go and barbecue